Hi, greetings and welcome back with another video in Roy's desk. So with this video we are back on track with the amplifier project. This will be part 7 in the series of the amplifier project. This was the last part that I uploaded where I finished the full Twitter section. And a bit of a recap for you. If you see this picture that I have shown in the first video, you will see that the full Twitter section is finished and only thing remaining will be the UFO section. For UFO section, I'll be using the LM3886 IC. Which circuit, which board, which preamp, it's not yet decided. I will be deciding in the upcoming videos. And yeah, link for all the parts will be there in the description. You can check out part 1 to part 6. So in this video, I will finish soldering all the components to this board. Uh, and by the way, this both the boards are from Ultimax Audios. Even the LM3886 IC that I'll be using in here will be from Ultimax Audio only. And I'll be finishing this board and then I'll be testing the power for this board. Then again, we'll test this preamp together with this board. So if you see this board, the input here is for AC and then it goes to this bridge rectifier and then it's rectified to positive and negative voltages. The common is this one, but I don't want to have this diode and the small value capacitors in here. I'll use my previously made rectifier circuits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass this diode. So if I input positive in here, common in here and negative voltage in here, then this positive will go to here, which is the AC input of the diode. So after rectification, this becomes the positive voltage. So I'm going to connect this to traces so this positive will come in here then it will go to this positive trace and then if I give negative in here it is a double sided board so the negative in here will go to this terminal of the diode which is again AC terminal and then it's rectified to negative voltage so we are going to connect this to so if we give negative voltage in here this part becomes negative voltage and if we give positive in here, this part becomes positive because these two are connected. So in this way, we are going to bypass this diode. So I'm not going to give any parts list because everything is mentioned properly in the board or it's itself. So without wasting any further more time, let us get started.
okay so i connected everything in here i'll be using the bulb limiter because this is the first time i'm powering this off and i'm pretty nervous because this ic is a very costly i don't want to blow this one up so powering this with 13013 transformer rectified connected one temporary heat sink i'll be giving the input with this aux jack this time not the bluetooth module and i connected this speakers 4 ohms 20 watts so now let us switch it on okay no magic smoke and it seems to be working we have output so now let us hook up some youtube safe music and let us play something and listen to the quality of this Now I hope you understood how crystal clear the sound of this board is. No wonder why this lm 3 6 ic is called the king of all the chip amps. It has some extraordinary low distortion figures which is why it sounds so crisp and crystal clear. Now I can't really explain you how good it sounds. It's like there are some music systems which you will say it's good sounding but you won't like to listen it for a long time but this you will be listening to it for hours and hours and you will still like it you will still love the sound of it this ic is just next level and also the board is designed nicely let us hook up this tone control board again from ultimax audio and connect it with this and let us see how this tone control performs so again i connected everything the connection is pretty much simple aux input to the input of the preamp preamp output connected to this lm 3 6 board and powering this with 12012 supply from this transformer directly because it's having this rectifier inbuilt in it and I'm using this woofer now because obviously I'll be testing the base and everything so let us start the testing Okay, so please do let me know in the comments how do you find the quality of this board. Few observations from my side. What I felt like is the treble after a certain point of time is not usable at all. It introduces a lot of noise into the system. And for this system which I'll be using for the UFORS, I'll be anyways not using the 
high pass section i'll be only using the mid the bass and the master volume and again one another observation is that even if everything is down to zero all the volume knobs are down to zero it still introduces a quite good amount of bass into the system which is kind of good for my use case but it won't be favorable for others who wants a flat response when everything is down to zero so all in all it is a very good tone control board and also this does not introduce a lot of noise into the system which is also a good thing so now let us dive into the testing of this board which i am very much curious about how the results will turn up okay so the test setup is ready now injecting 1 kilohertz sine wave into this board powering this with 13013 transformer and the output is connected to this resistor network box currently at 8 ohms and the channel 2 which is the blue one is output from the signal gen and the yellow one is the output from the power amp so let us now go to the point where it starts clipping okay it starts clipping now so we'll go to the point where it just starts clipping is 31.20 volts So if we calculate this now that's our VRMS VRMS square divided by the resistance that is 8 ohms 15.21 watts now let me switch it to 4 ohms again let us increase the amplitude till it clips 29.6 29.6 volts 29.6 divided by 2.828 VRM square divided by 4 ohms 27.38 watts is what we are getting at 4 ohms 13013 supply okay so i connected 19019 now 8 ohms let us see where it clips that's clipping 45.6 volts so if i calculate 45.6 divided by 2.828 this is our vrms that's the vrms square divided by 8 ohms is 32.5 watts yeah 32.5 watts at 8 ohms 19019 supply now let's switch it to 4 ohms i have switched it to 4 ohms let us see where it clips Okay that's clipping 41.6 volts now 41.6 divided by 2.828 this gives us our vrms 14.71 into 14.71 vrms square is 216 divided by 4 ohms that's 54 watts that we are getting so 54 watts 4 ohms 19019 supply as i said we can again go up with this but i don't have anything above 19019 so i have noted down all the different measurements that i took and at different resistance in the output so you can take a screenshot of this so to conclude this video i am sure that i'll be using this lm3886 ics for my ufa section I'm not sure I'm not 100% sure about the preamp I may design something or I may just use that Ultimax preamp so I'm thinking I will design something for this LM3886 but the problem with this chip you know is the pin orientation is such that it doesn't quite fit in this type of Vero board the only way you can fit this is diagonally and if you fit this diagonally then you have to cut a square out of this but I don't want to do that So actually I wanted to test some new idea or new concept on designing PCB for this amplifiers. Um I'll be using one ground plane instead of star ground and for designing a ground plane type PCB layout I need dual side copper trays. It's not that it's impossible to do it with our copper clad board if we etch the PCB by our own. It's just that it will be very much tedious work to design a dual sided board by ourselves. So I'm just not sure yet that I'll be ordering the PCBs from some website after designing it in EasyDA or I'll be etching the PCB of my own. So 
in the upcoming videos i will decide that part so i think it's time to wrap up now please do like share and subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon you will get the notifications whenever i'm uploading a new video if you have any questions do put that in the comment and all the purchase links will be in the description so stay tuned till then bye bye